gentlemen, for your host, John Atkins. Awesome, awesome. Welcome to the John Atkins Show, everybody, live and direct from Woo! the Diamond Bar and PB. Woo! Yeah. Hey, hey. Hey, um, brought to you by IKEA Furniture. <laughs> <laughs> Not to be confused with the stuff that my drunk uncle mutters to his neighbor when he uh, wants to retaliate for telling on him, like, homie, I key a car, homie. <laughs> <laughs> I key a car, homie. <laughs> you went, this is my lawn. I can, I, can, I can mow my lawn at 2 in the morning. You gotta tell him, you told me again, I key your car, homie. <laughs> You gotta love it here in PB. We gotta, gotta love it here at the Diamond Bar. We do everything. We got gourmet pizzas yeah. in the back. Skateboarding lessons. Anybody wants to skateboarding <laughs> lessons? We do it all here, baby. <laughs> I'd like to give a special shout out to uh, Sister Gloria Maria Paz and her third grade class. <laughs> Coming all the way straight here from Our Lady of Mont Carmel in San Isidro. <laughs> Welcome, children. <laughs> You'll be hearing some stuff today. Uh, <laughs> please don't lose faith in humanity. Ah, <laughs> uh, golly, uh, golly. I'm having a good time here. I'm having a good time. You know what? Like, I had a, just a rough run in earlier this week with some old school veteran gangsters on wheelchairs. <laughs> <laughs> Each and one, one of these cats had a membership to the AARP organization. They call themselves the Rolling 50s. <laughs> Not to be confused with any other gang, just letting you know. <laughs> well, pretty much what happened was I ended up interrupting their dice game. They were all hanging out in the corner shooting dice on a sidewalk. And they, they, they're, they're trying to get mad at me for interrupting their game. I mean, it took them like one hour just to get three straight rolls. <laughs> it just kept alternating, just like getting out their wheelchair, just reaching out for the dice. It was painful to watch. It was <laughs> contortionist they are not. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, even though I thought it'd be impossible, homie just jumped me. <laughs> Man, I just I showed up at the ER with like scuff marks on my damn face. <laughs> Got these like skinny tire marks running down my shirt and on my back. And they ran me out the block. <laughs> Guess it's just one of those lifestyles kind of hard to back away from. That's <laughs> fucking <laughs> cool. Whenever I defecate, I tend to wipe my ass in the similar fashion that a beautiful 25-year-old woman just scrolls through her Tinder account. <laughs> and it just consists of just swipe left, swipe left, swipe left. <laughs> just because I can. <laughs> it's like when you got options, you know, you can, you can have different selections. Whatever, whatever you want, whatever you want. Um, I've never considered my life to ever be in limbo. Even though I consistently just lower the bar for myself every single day, I <laughs> love you go. Oh, baby. My brother recently had a horrible breakup. He ended up working out. Now he's all fit. He tells me that he has like what people usually call uh, what is known today as a revenge body. And um, I'm a little anxious and worried about him, to tell you the truth. Just to give you a little bit of context, my brother, he's currently housed in the federal penitentiary in New Jersey. <laughs> the uh, guards uh, broke up and dismantled his prison gang. <laughs> and he assured me that whenever he finds a snitch, homie is like green light in the yard. He, he is going to take revenge. Vengeance is his. <laughs> I don't think that's how a, a revenge body works, to tell you the truth. I'm not sure of the semantics, but... I mean, like, I saw Khloe Kardashian's show, like, not one inmate on that show. <laughs> I never had a brush with death, but I have had a life comb over. <laughs> right, I'm gonna end it like that. You guys been a fun crowd. Give it up for John, baby. Good one. I'll see you later. 